Hi everybody, this is Bill from EOT Pro. I'm talking about the smoothing input in Bill's Arrows 4.26. What does it do? First of all, I want you to know that you can turn smoothing off um, and revert these arrows right back to version 4 if you want. Version 4 was very, very aggressive. Um, and you could get arrows everywhere if you wanted. The smoothing parameter is designed to actually help you not get faked out on pullbacks. It's designed to give you some more control over how aggressive you want these arrows to be. We want to give you a maximum control. Let me show you an example. Right here I have Bill's Arrows 4.26 with a smoothing of 2. The smoothing can be between can be between 1 and 10. 10 being maximum smoothing, 1 being zero smoothing. I have it set to 2. And you'll notice that the arrows plot pretty quick after the plot cycle. Pretty quick turns after the market turns, you get a pretty quick arrow. Market turns, you get a pretty quick arrow. The market turns, you get a pretty quick arrow. Very quick arrow, quick arrow. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. But we can play with the smoothing a little bit. First of all, uh, let me turn it to one and show... Actually, before I do that, I want to focus on uh, this move right here. I want to focus on this move right here. This move. This move right here. Okay? So we have a down signal, a down signal, and a down signal. The yellow arrows are the primary entries. Yellow arrows are the primary entries. Okay? And we have a short, a short, a short. All oh, we're good. Rock and roll. Let's play with the smoothing right now. And let's turn this back to, let's turn arrow smoothing to one. Let's, uh, and that will actually give you virtually no smoothing. Here it is, putting it back to one. No smoothing at all. Let's see what that looks like. Now what happens is you have no directional filtering within Bill's arrows. And look, we have a short signal, and then we have a long. And then we have a short signal, and then we have a long. And then we have a short signal, and then we have a long. The smoothing parameter can help you filter out some of those losing trades. When the market is really choppy, and it's really horrible, and it really sucks, sometimes you've got to turn this sucker up. And really, you know, I've been playing with it between 2 and 5 um, are, are really the parameters that I like. Here's 5. Um, but keep in mind, the higher the smoothing, the later the arrows will plot. We're using um, Shelley's volume as the, as the filter here. And it just, you know, smooths out Shelley's volume even more or makes it a little bit more sensitive. I kind of, personally, I, I kind of want to be aggressive on the turns. I want to be aggressive pretty aggressive because there's there's other things that we can do to like bar time is a, a fantastic filter to get rid of some of the the losing trades uh, we found um you want to be quick on the turns but you don't want to be faked out on those pullbacks it depends on the different market conditions you have i mean the different markets require different smoothing for example the yen is very very choppy usually at least i found it to be may require a little bit more smoothing so you don't get those fake outs but we gave you the adjustability and we gave you the inputs for you to decide how much smoothing you want some people like to be very very aggressive some people like to be medium some people like to be a little bit on the aggressive side but not too much we gave you the ability to adjust these arrows to do whatever you wanted them to do. 
I have my smoothing set to 2. 2 works very, very well for me. Yes, I still have losing trades, but for the most part, they do a pretty darn good job. It's really very straightforward. Uh, not really too much more to say about arrow smoothing, other than 1 is no smoothing and 10 is a ton. That's about it. Thanks for listening.